rotating between these two pairs. As we take a look at our umpire there with yep. the coin. Surf. Surf. Santos to surf. The side. The side. Thank you. And the pair from India in red opting to take the side of the court nearest us will be bottom of your screens. Another match up in the top half of the draw in the women's doubles. A section that features the number one seeds from China, Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yi Fan. And first up we've got Puja Dandu, the 24 year old, 165 in height from Tirupati in India. Ranked 43. Well, that's their highest ranking, 43 in the world, with her partner, Sanjana Santosh. On screen now for you, 24 years of age. Also 165 in height from Mumbai in India. taped up there. Their opponents here today from the Netherlands. That's Alisa Tirko Centono, 21 years old, 170 in height. From Hagen, the Netherlands, current ranking of 46, which is their highest. That's Tirko Centono with her partner. On screen now for you, Imka Amanda R, 23 years old, from Haarlem in the Netherlands. He's got a similar ranking with Deborah Gila. So the Dutch changing their pairs around. And we saw him earlier, but he was in the service judge chair at the time. Our umpire for this one, Jesper Larsen. Ready to play? his service judge for this matchup. Tio Kianjo from Malaysia. And last, just about to get things underway for us here, live on court number two. So top seeds are in this section of the draw in the women's doubles, but awaiting the winners in the next round. The winners of this match are Canada's Rachel Honderick and Kirsten Tsai, the 15th seeds. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Alicia Tietotonsono, Imke van der Haar, Netherlands. And on my left, Portadando, Sanjana Tanso, India. Sanjana Santos to serve to Alicia Tietotensono. Lavo, play. Out. Service oh, over. One. by our umpire. Here is starts in red. Puja Dandu and Sanjana Santosh. And the Dutch pairing in blue at the far side. Alisa Titan Santono. And Ipka van der Aar. Defense. The back out's gone wide. Service over. One all.
defence this time from Santos. Two, one. Yeah, chase. over to all a relaxed looking start by the Indians unfazed by the prospect of what is right now Three, the biggest two. tournament in badminton Easy turning that shuttle cross court. Just missed time to the shuttle. Three, five. And Van der Aar going out wide. Ah. Oh, round the back. And then a full stretch. Tito Santono Six, with some wonderful three. shot making. Difficult skill. Yeah. Uh, come on. Well, it was a fist pump, but the shuttle judged to have been wide. Four, six. Dando not looking particularly happy with something out there. from Dandy. Service over. 
and Teo from Malaysia, our service judge, called to action. Served by Santosh. Not within the rules. And Pooja Dandu just not looking her best. Not moving fluidly, playing no shots with power. I wonder whether she's either unwell or carrying some injury. There were moments Six, earlier where nine. she didn't even make an attempt to pick up a drop shot and took what seemed like ages to return the shuttle. by the Dutch, but again, Dandu making no effort to cover that court. Interesting here, out on court two. Pairing. Looking more alive here in this opening game. Tito Santono and Van der Aar with a four point lead at the mid game interval. There is some problem here, and I think it is Pujar Dandu with the issue. Medical officials being called to the court, and she keeps putting her hand on the right, sorry, left hip.
13-7. And it uh, looks a bit lacklustre, the performance from Santosh and Dandu. Unquestionably due to that injury from Dandu, whatever it might be. just don't seem to have the snap 14, that they seven. should have here. A test for Alyssa Tito Sentono and Inka van der Aar to stay focused, to give 100%. But it's very difficult for Dandu, who's putting no power through the shuttle. The Dutch pair can afford to take a step forward in defence. And pick up the drop shots, that touch earlier. Which is only going to make things more difficult for the Indians. Over, it's over. Eight. Santosh with the backhand over the top on the line. Oh, great cross block. 9 15. The racket skills are still there for Pooja Dandu. Big open space to find. So Sentono. 10, 15. Should be quicker on to that drop shot to middle. from Dandu. 16, 10. Hey. 17, 10. And the first point in four for Tier 2 Santono and Van der Aar. to Santono. 18, 10. The switch of feet looking for that forehand lift. Yeah, really well played. 19, 10. The slow drop onto the side of Dandu, who's struggling physically, outstretched, and then a simple push into the space behind her. Twice. Well judged in the end. Ten game points here. So it's over. Eleven twenty. Well, the umpire's calling for his own Hawkeye, I think. It looked wide. The length looked okay, but it did look wide of the service box. Santosh going for the tee. 
and I think the Dutch have taken the game here. Well, excruciating stuff for Tier 2, Sentono and Van der Aar, who believe they've got the first game in the bag. Oh, it's caught the line. Well, oh, what a serve. 12, 20. And Santosh delaying the somewhat inevitable, what with nine more game points. Game. And yes, the second time of First asking. Game won by Elisa Tieto Tutono in Kefenda. 21-12. Well, nice clear umpiring for you there. No need for the repeats, but it's the Dutch pairing that take the opener game. And the big story here is Pusha Dandu not looking in full flow, carrying something of an injury. And I wonder whether we'll even see a second game here. 21-12. The opener then. Here to Santono and Van der Well, as you could probably hear from the umpire, technical official has been called back, and I think we're looking at a retirement here in the women's doubles round one match. Porto Dandio retires. Match won by Inga Fender R. And Elisa Tieto Tono. 21 12. And a retirement, perhaps unsurprisingly now, Pooja Dandu from India carrying something of an injury and with just one game played Alisa Tieto Sentono and Imke van der Aar from the Netherlands have made their way through to round two with a 21-12 and then followed by a retirement Tomorrow or the following day, more likely Tuesday, they'll face Canada's Rachel Honderick and Kirsten Tsai, the 15th seed, who are already waiting in the second round. So, confirmation there 17 minutes of play, a retirement in the women's doubles. Into the mix zone, please. Do you know where the mix zone is? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and don't go anywhere. We've got men's doubles up next. Should be a fascinating contest between the Farias brothers from Brazil. And today they're up against. DJ Wei and Yang Po Swan from Taipei, just a few moments time.
Michael, thank you for joining us here. We're in Andalusia, of course, in Huelva. In the Palacio de los Deportes, the Carolina Marine Arena. 